any Anzol dealer that anybody that views this video will get in touch with should be able to get you a copy of a technical service bulletin that Amsoil put out on the problems with the fuel contamination during the regeneration cycle on these engines. And it starts out just by saying 2007 through 2011, Cummins, turbo diesels, Ford, power surf turbo, turbo diesels, and uh, the Duramax turbo diesel engines all were designed with this particular mechanism for regeneration. So those are the ones. As I said before, the 2012 Duramax is uh, touted as having the ninth injector, which means it will not go through the engine anymore. So maybe this stuff will be a phase. Actually, if there's anybody out there who wants to get in touch with me that's an engineer and thinks that you can engineer an aftermarket system to go on these trucks for a ninth injector, we could get together and do some business. My question to you is, is it, is it more than 14% going down into the tank? I mean, is there is there some kind of, uh, you know, could it be 20, could it be 3? It could vary, but... Here's how this stuff works. When the injectors start overfueling, okay, they're going to continue to overfuel until the back pressure on the particulate filter drops to the level to tell them that they have burned out the so, carbon stuck in the filter. So if you had a light load of carbon, right, it just takes it a short time to burn it out. But in theory, this thing could fill the whole thing up until it blows it out. Well, it could, but uh, the average they see is about 10 to 12 percent, and on a on a 10 quart system, that's a quart of diesel that's made it down into the engine. So, uh, one of the things about this regeneration cycle that you got to be careful of is don't have the tailpipe uh, while you're idling in the garage waiting to open the door on a cold day, because you burn the house down when that thing lights off. It's over 600 degrees coming out of the tailpipe, so you know. Just a crazy system. So they're saying they're injecting on the exhaust stroke, yeah. which is just washing past the rings. And right. Okay. right. I, I thought it was like exactly. just on the intake and just. You thought it was right. raining in the block, is what you thought. <laughs> no, 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 but you're right. It's on the exhaust yeah. portion. That yeah. valve opens, right. whoosh. <laughs> yeah. No, you're right. I understand what okay, you're saying. You know, I was thinking yeah. combustion and just instead no. of, you know, like two cc's or whatever extra. You know, they would just put in four cc's. No, you're right. Yeah, okay. Okay. I can understand thinking that, but it's an exhaust stroke. Like, it, it won't burn, and so too much of it. Now, one thing to remember on this is that how does this get to the crankcase? It has to get past the piston ring. To get past the piston rings, it means it must be washing oil off while it's doing that. Absolutely. And the piston's still moving up and down. It's great so down the wear on the cylinder walls and the pistons could be uh, enhanced. They the definitely are not well, getting the wear that they should be out of those motors. There's, well, there's already of, proof of that. One of the ways the rings actually work is by the compression, you know, getting in the pit, you know, and squeezing right. against it. So on the exhaust stroke, there's none of that compression no. squeezing the rings to the no. cylinder. Oh my, and then you're, oh my. Oh. You know, when they get to motorcycles, we're going to have to wear Romex race suits like the NASCAR oh. boys so we can ride the frickin' motorcycle. Well, let me tell you something. The question comes <laughs> up with this. Uh, you realize that a Volkswagen turbo diesel, TDI, mm -hmm. does not have this system. No. Nope. Nor does it have a particulate filter. No. Nope. Uh, the reason is, is, no, the reason is, is it runs hot enough in the uh, collector of the manifold in the exhaust because of the size of the engine and the shortness of the exhaust. The temperature generated in the collective exhaust, which would be like EGT, is hot enough it burns the carbon itself. You know what those things get for fuel mileage? I mean, this yeah. is, that's the toughest sell I've seen. So I got a buddy that's got 200,000 miles on a turbo diesel, and he's getting somewhere from 45 to 52 miles. Right. How am I going to tell him he's going to get more mileage for that cleaner? Well, no, but what you tell him is that in his, he's also running ultra low sulfur diesel. He also has a fuel pump and he has injectors. Right. Now, he may be at 250,000 and he may go to 300,000 and somewhere around there he may start having a lower fuel pressure because he's starting to wear out the plungers in the fuel pump. Uh, okay, okay. It should have gone 500,000 miles. 
That's the deal. Is this stuff? It's kind of like, uh, you know, if you if you mow the grass every week, it doesn't get waist high. Okay, it's just keeping up with what's going on rather well, than waiting for it to get out of control. I've seen two twenty Ds go maybe two. Maybe three yeah, valve jobs. That's all. No, a good diesel engine is a million mile engine. Yeah. As long as it doesn't run into these cars that they change the fuel on it, change dump fuel into its oil, all this kind of stuff. It's a good million mile engine. So Can I ask them a dumb question? Has Amazon gone after UPS at all? Because I mean that's all they do is burn gasoline and diesel. Oh, there's been dealers after dealers yeah. go after UPS and after FedEx and all these guys. And and they've had to do it. Uh, those guys in the past <laughs> have had real strange policies towards how they buy products. I mean, business acumen where they decide they're going to do something a certain way that's quirky. So I can just tell you that some very sophisticated Amazon dealers have tried to get some of those guys. Now, times are always changing. Next week, somebody could go and find that the light has come on and these guys have decided that it's time to save money. The guy uh, I used to deal with out here in Longwood. Ben Eversol, here's an accountant. He brought him to write data sheets and he showed him. He buy all day long. Yes, I mean, he wasn't a mechanic per se, he was an accountant first. Right. So he figured it out. But you're right, a lot of them are just. They have some, uh, well, and sometimes it's those 50 yard line seats, you know, that you got to get for the Florida game. Yeah, yeah that's a bull game. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so see these, that. when you see this thing, it's interesting reading because if you read it, these are actual samples that were run on a Dodge. These are the fuel dilutions, different trucks, right? You can see some way up, some way down. GM fuel dilution, not nearly as high as Dodge in most areas. I don't know why, but the, 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 the GM engine seems to be low to begin with. I don't know why. Uh, what would be different? So, so how do you approach one of these guys, Dan? king of all this knowledge. What do you say to a guy? I mean, you got to keep it kind of simple stupid, don't you? I keep it simple in this aspect. You have a regeneration system on your diesel. Okay. It dumps diesel into your oil. I can't recommend extended drain intervals under these conditions. But what you need to be aware of is that not only will you not go extended drain intervals in these trucks, you better make sure that the oil that you have that's contaminated at this level a fuel is not shearing back and not even providing you the protection it should to begin with. Okay. So if you don't use us, at least do your homework and go make sure you're using an oil which is shear stable under high fuel contamination. Can you explain the shear? Well, I tell them shear means that it should have been a 40 weight, but it's sheared back to a 20 weight. Okay. So it will not make it up to a 40 weight. So you're running around with 20 weight oil in your diesel. It's not going to last long doing that. 